welcome back to my channel War Paint. I'm Tara Michelle and today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine with you guys. I already did my contour, bronzing, and highlighting routine if you guys want to check that out. I actually asked you in that video if you wanted a foundation routine and 100% of you said yes. So thank you so much for participating in the polls that I link above. If I have one linked below, above, not below, um, there's going to be a little little eye and a circle around it so you can go ahead and click that if I have a poll you can vote on it and that helps me out with creating content that you guys want to see so if you want to see how I get my foundation on my face um, then just keep watching <music> lip hanger I almost left you um, without telling you what is on my lips girl and that is the Too Faced melted chocolate liquefied long wear lipstick in chocolate cherries and it is absolutely gorgeous i know i'm doing a little bit of a dramatic look today i have a smoky halo eye and a dark vampy lip but i don't know i'm just feeling it so i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do um i have this look over on instagram if you want further details of what is on my eyes and everything like that so i'll see you over on instagram say hello i would love that leave a little hello emoji and um, i'll know that you guys came from youtube so let's go ahead and get into my foundation routine Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start, I'm actually going to be using two primers today. Basically, my reason behind this is that sometimes I do use two primers. One is really hydrating, one is luminizing. So, um, and I kind of wanted to use both just to show you, give you reasons why and show you how they look together. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I really like this. I'm almost out of it. And it is really, really good for dry skin. If you guys have dry skin, this is going to be a fantastic primer for you. Um, even after moisturizing, it just really adds a lot to your skin and just makes it feel really refreshed and hydrated and ready to take on um, makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I usually apply two pumps from the container. And I just rub that all over my face and get my face ready for foundation. The next primer I like to use to make my skin very luminous, and if you have oily skin, I don't recommend using this with the Born This Way foundation because I think that you would get really oily and accentuated, um, but if you have dry skin, girl, go for it, and this also works really well underneath my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is my other Holy Grail Home Girl foundation, but today we're using the Too Faced Born This Way because it is number one right now for me. So this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I've been using this quite a while. It is pretty expensive. It's $38, um, and I've used half the container. Actually, I feel like, okay, I said I've been using it quite a while. I've been using it a lot, but I haven't had it that long, so it doesn't last very long. So that's one downside to it, but it's really, really beautiful on the skin. So I'm going to take two pumps of that. Oh, you know what? I don't take two pumps of this. I took two pumps of the other one. I take one and a half pumps of this, and then I disperse that and I mostly work on my cheek area any areas that are going to be highlighted um this isn't like a moisturizing you know kind of fil or filter kind of primer but it really does help with the moisturizing when I do use it on my own but I don't feel like it's as hydrating obviously as the Too Faced one otherwise I wouldn't use both I want to apologize for my tan hands. They look really bad. They look really bad. I didn't get to use my favorite tanner on my hands and it just, just didn't work out this time. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I am right now in the shade Natural Beige. This is for when I'm self-tanned. And you guys, if you are tired of pumping your foundation on the back of your hand I don't know if that's what you do but that's what I used to do I just picked up and this is in recommendation from Luster Lux Katie um, I picked up the pillar candle holder from Target you can get this in the candle section obviously and I think it's three dollars and it's really worth it because it's inexpensive and it works just like a palette I remember I was watching Tati the other day and she was like I just love I love Tati so this is like I'm not trying to say anything bad about her, but she was like, I love my Scott Barnes palette, and I'm like, I bet I would love a glass, piece of glass from Scott Barnes too, but like, I'm going to go to Target and pay $3 for this particular piece of glass 
It may not be Scott Barnes, but it works. So I'm going to pump two of Pumps of the Born This Way foundation onto there. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but this is a fairly new beauty blender. And it's got this, like, I can't get this part clean. And then also it's got this, like, hard thing in the middle. I'm thinking about taking it back. I've never taken back a beauty blender, and I don't know what Sephora would think if I did. But it just seems like something is wrong with the inside of it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, I'm going to dip my beauty blender in there, and then I'm just going to tap it kind of all over my face, making big splotches of foundation every little place, and then I'm going to blend it out. I tap fairly gently when I'm doing my, it doesn't sound like it, like listen to how loud that is, when I'm doing my foundation, just so I'm not like jamming it into my skin, but this, you know, tapping it gently even gets it really in, into the skin and it keeps it really skin-like. And then I take it down my neck, of course, just to make sure it's nice and blended. And when I feel like I need a little bit more, I go back onto the little glass palette, the Tara Michelle palette. It's not Scott Barnes, but it's a Target special. And I add a little bit more coverage, especially under my nose. I don't feel like I have to conceal under there with the Born This Way foundation, but I do put a little bit extra foundation. I'm going to go into my hairline. I actually haven't dried my hair yet, but you probably can tell that. So next we're going to be doing concealer. Now, had I done my foundation routine I did do my foundation routine a couple weeks ago, but the video footage got lost. That's another story. Had I done it a couple weeks ago, you would have seen me use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really think this is a, still a very good concealer. I know a lot of people ha on YouTube have gone away from it, and, and people will, are using other things like the Urban Decay De Concealer, um, the HD Concealer from Makeup Forever and everything like that, but this still holds up. Actually, I got a container of this before my photo shoot with Moonplay, and um, I was just like, yes, this stuff is still really, really good. And in that, I'm in shade NW20, but I'm actually going to set this aside today. I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm going to be using the Born This Way Concealer. And um, I'm going to have a review and swatches of all of them. If I don't already have that, um, I'll have it linked in the description box once that goes live. And if it already is live, it's down in the description box. So I'm going to be using the shade Light Medium. Now... Um, if you want a really brightening look underneath the eyes, I would go, if you're kind of my skin tone, I would go with Shade Light. If you're trying to decide which one to purchase. If you really like a highlighted look, go for Shade Light. If you like a natural look, go for Shade Light Medium. Um, if you can do both, great. Um, I would definitely recommend Light to really highlight. And um, I can show you that on my skin today. I'll go ahead and pull it out and I'll use it on my chin and nose area just so you can see the brightness effect of it. And I'll use this one under my eyes. So again, I'm using light medium underneath the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to apply light to the center of my face. And this is just so you guys can see it in action. Um, you definitely don't have to buy two concealers. Oh, why you got to go on my eyebrow? Where's my spoonie? See how professional this is? Look how professional that line of concealers are now. Mm-hmm. Put a little bit above my cupid's bill and then some on my chinny chin chin. 
That's just going to bring light into the center of the face. Don't worry about letting your concealer sit on your face unless you have a big issue with it. But this is something I do and I meant to make a video about my little concealer hack. I'll go ahead and mention it in this video and then maybe I'll make a video down the road. Um, I go ahead and let the concealer sit on my face. This really is another way of baking basically without the powder. I don't bake with powder whatsoever. I let the concealer sit on my face and then when I go to... to um, blend it out with my beauty blender it's not gonna come off my skin um, with the beauty blender because it doesn't it's already like adhered to my face so I kind of let it sit there typically I would do my brows but for the sake of this video I already did my brows so I'm gonna kind of let it sit there and just become one with my skin so it looks more skin like and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender before I go in with the Beauty Blender to blend out my concealer, I'm going to talk about the powder I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the original RCMA powder. This is really, really good. If you guys can get your hand on, hands on it, I definitely recommend it. I will leave a link to it below if I find it in stock and where I bought it. I bought it through Friends Beauty online. It came really quickly. And this is 3 ounces. It's a ton of powder and it's going to last you a long time. I used to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I find that this changes the color of my concealer underneath my eyes where this does not. It literally, whatever color you have on your face, it's going to allow that color to still shine through where this is a translucent powder but it still casts a beige underneath my eyes and I just wasn't fond of it underneath my eyes but to set my foundation I still really like the Laura Mercier but for a less expensive option definitely the RCMA powder it is just as good as everybody says the only problem is the packaging because you have this huge container and nowhere to put the powder so I usually tap it into the lid and then take my brush from there but then I feel like you're wasting it. And I have a ton of powder all over my room because of that RCMA powder. But if I could have a container like this with RCMA powder in it, holy cow. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and blend out. I'm going to actually do my face first and then my under eyes because I like to set my under eyes relatively quickly, quickly after I blend it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face because I'm not too concerned about setting that. But then I'll do my under eyes. See the brightness it just added to the center of my forehead? It's a little too much, but that's what bronzer's for, so you're going to take it down a notch. But yeah, it just adds, like the light is hitting you right there. It's really, really beautiful. And it looks just like a natural glow because you are using concealer versus like a highlighter or a powder to do it. So it's really melting in with your skin. And when you let it sit, like I have a lot of issues with the concealer just lifting off of my nose when I do it like this. But when you, why am I talking to you while I'm doing this? When I let it sit, it doesn't lift off. And then it stays in place. And then I'm going to let that just blend in there. And I'm going to go under my eye. So I have these lines underneath my eyes, so sometimes when I'm putting my concealer in, and I wish I could just do this, um, I'll pull down, I wish I had two beauty blenders because this would help, um, I'll pull down on my skin and blend it out, I'll pull down below, blend it into those creases and then get ready to set it so that the, the concealer doesn't set inside the creases. And it's not the concealer's fault, it's literally my eyes wrinkles fault. And then I'll just tap out where I touched on my face. And then I'll go in with my brush for my um, setting my under eye, which I'm using the Luxie. Oh my gosh, it's rubbed off. This is the Precision Foundation Brush, and I use it to set my under eyes, actually. I've never used it with a liquid. I've only ever used it for this purpose, and it works really, really well. Wearing black with this RCMA powder is going to be a mess. So then I just gently tap underneath the eye, 
and then I kind of do a sweeping motion to get rid of the excess powder. Okay, let's do the other side. Then I'm going to grab a powder brush. I'm going to be using the Milani Powder Bronzer Blush. Brush, not blush. And I'm going to just gently press that into the skin. The RCMA powder, that is. circular motions once I know that I have the powder on to blend it out so there's no white cast because it will reveal the color of your foundation once you blend it out. I'm just going to tap that in. And this kind of pressing the powder into your skin is really going to help if you're oily as well in locking your foundation into place. See when I blend it out you can just see the color of the foundation coming back through. It's really really good powder. I'm do the same with my forehead and my nose. If you guys want to see how I contour and bronze and highlight my skin and also apply blush, I have a video for that. It's linked right in the description box. It's the first video down below. I would love for you guys to go over and check that out and then you can see how I get this full face. The only thing I ever do is interchange the colors of my highlight and my bronzer and my blush, but it's always the same routine. So if you guys want to see how I do that, it's linked below. So yeah, that's the end of this foundation routine. Let's get back to my regular makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my foundation routine. If you have any questions, um, leave them down in the comments below. I'll gladly answer them if you have any questions regarding what other foundations I use. Anything. I will answer them. So just let me know. And let me know what your favorite foundation or primer is in the comments as well because I'd love to check them out. And I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Don't forget to follow me at my other social media. If you go and say hi to me over on Instagram, I would love that. And you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and yeah, I already said Instagram. So you can find me over there. And I have all of those social media sites linked below. And uh, you can just come say hello. And don't forget to come say hi to me on Snapchat. Send me some snaps. I would love it. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video. I hope you're having an awesome week. Bye.